Um, unfortunately, I lost two people in my class and six were hit. I was on the wrong side of the class and no student should have to cover themselves with a deceased classmate to survive. But I was that student. Um, we can't only focus on school shootings though. Urban communities and low income communities have always, have always been hit with gun violence forever. I lost my uncle due to gun violence in Brooklyn 15 years ago and nothing has changed. Columbine happened, nothing's changed. Sandy Hook happened, nothing's changed. Parkland happened, nothing's changed. I went to school yesterday and I was late and I walked right through the office. Who knows, I could have been walking in with another Nicholas Cruz. They didn't check my ID, they didn't check my bag as we just walked through. We have to do something. This cannot happen again and nothing's happening. It's been 36 days and nothing's happened. We have to move fast. To those politicians, I say, come out today on your website, tweet out about it, put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, everything, so that your constituents can know where you stand on these policies and they can be well informed. Because right now, the reason why these things are happening is because people have not been informed and you, as the leaders of this country, have misguided them and as such are killing the future of America. We are in the midst of a new social movement, much like the civil rights movement, the marriage equality movement, the anti-war movement, the women's health care movement, fueled, powered, driven by young people. That has always been the way change, particularly revolutionary change, has been accomplished in this country. It's in the great American tradition that they are marching in Washington and they are marching on our consciences.